Gene Paul Ace Peter here, and this is a holiday video response to DaCosta Comics. He tagged me in the video. I'm going to put a link to his uh, channel in the description below, as well as a link to the video. So, he wants to see some of your Christmas comics. So, let's see what I have here. This one first. Go right into it. See what it is. Mmm. First we have Amazing Spider-Man 314, cover and art by Todd McFarlane. This is from 1989, and the story is called Down and Out in Forest Hills. In this issue, you find uh, Peter and Mary Jane get evicted from their apartment, and Aunt May says they can stay with her. Uh, Peter doesn't want to have any part of it, so he talks to his good buddy Flash, and Flash agrees to let them stay in a room behind his gym. The whole time this is happening, there's a department store downtown, and the owner, where it's the holidays, it's a busy time of year, he has a pile of receipts and he doesn't trust it, so he gets his assistant to hire out uh, security guards to be in charge of the receipts. But he eventually smells something is up and he figures out that his assistant had in turn hired thieves to rob the receipts. Anyway, Spider-Man ends up getting involved, a fight ensues, Spider-Man whoops his butt, and the assistant guy gets a, gets clobbered in the head by a Santa here, by store Santa. As Peter's walking home, he notices uh, Aunt May by Uncle Ben's grave, and she's crying and upset, and that's when he realizes, yeah, it, it's the holidays, he needs to stay with her, and so that's what he does. Him and MJ end up spending Christmas Eve with Aunt May, and uh, it's a very touching moment, it's very sweet. Next! Some lovely Cooper. What we have here is Sergeant Rock, issue 378 from 1983. Christmas in July, it's called. Art by Redondo and cover by the late great Joe Cooper. This story, it's, it's only half the book is a Christmas story. Um, what happens is Sergeant Rock and the boys of Easy Company are on their way home or back to camp, and someone calls out and lets them know they have mail. And one of the guys must be having a, a late birthday, and he has this, like, four-month-old cake. Some krauts end up um, throwing a grenade or some kind of mine or something. I don't know. Throw a grenade, and it blows up his cake. They take off running, going after the Germans. And uh, what ends up happening is uh, they, they see that there's a pile of mail all on fire and stuff like that. So anyway, they come into contact again with some more Germans, and they get pushed into the city. They take care of business there, and uh, overhead is, is one of the uh, mail jets, the mail planes, and they end up dropping off a whole bunch of packages for them. All kinds of stuff is inside. Sergeant Rock actually hears something, kicks down the door, and finds that it's a nun. Uh, some sort of orphanage. It's a, it's a nun with a pile of children, and the children are crying and they're upset and everything like that. And Sergeant Rock's like, "Why are they so upset?" And the nun explains that it's based on the propaganda that was spread by the Germans to be afraid of the American soldiers. And so Sergeant Rock offers up some candy that he has, some chocolate bars and stuff, and they're still frightened to death. And the nun says, "You know, the only you know a, a child's fear is." much worse than their hunger. So Rock ends up walking out being completely bummed out and he goes outside and he comes up with this idea. He sees Jackie, part of Easy Company, and he says, man, like, throw on a suit and took the, the mail that had fallen out and bring it in inside and he dressed up as Santa, goes down the chimney and the kids are smiling and happy and it's a warm, fuzzy feeling and it's just a really nice story. Um, a lot of people forget Sergeant Rock is, is very heavy on the drama, more so than even um, being a war magazine, war comics, so 
Anyway, nice Santa book there. Next. Oh, Santa Claus Funnies, Dell 4 color from 1956. This is just good, clean fun. This is when, you know, uh, comics, this comic's totally intended for, you know, very young children. It's filled with games and puzzles and mazes and about 12 different short stories featuring, you know, talking animals and whatnot like that. A lot of just really lighthearted comedy. And um, this is, you know, it's, it's, it's golden. I guess that's why they call it Golden Age. This is just a golden book. I don't know who's doing the illustration on the front, but it's a really classic, uh, kind of that Coca-Cola classic Santa. Really nice. Really love it. Del 4 color, 1956. Issue 756. Very nice. Uh, boy, this one. That's cool. My Kiss Christmas ornaments are falling off. Whoa. Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., issue number 10. This issue features the hate monger. Well, first of all, I want to say that this uh, the cover is done by John Romita, and the art and stuff is done by Barry Windsor Smith, 1969. And the story's called Twas the Night Before Xmas. Fury is this one. He's retiring now for Christmas, and he ends up going home to his apartment, and he finds this, you know, hottie waiting for him, and he's pretty pumped. That's what he's getting down with this Christmas. But then the phone rings and says, hey, you got to come back in. And then it turns out, you know, hate mongers come back from the dead. And he's, you know, he's one of the most evil characters, evil villains in the Marvel Universe. I, I don't know if people really realize, but he's a, he's pretty much, he, well, he's a clone of Hitler. So, I mean, that should say enough. So what he has in planned is that he wants, he's got this chemical or biological element or agent, and he's going to drop it on, on the world and then use his sample of the, the superior race and repopulate the Earth. Well, Fury ain't having none of that, so kicks a little ass, takes a few names. Really cool book, really cool, a, a cool issue. This is after the Storenko run, but it's, it's just awesome. Really good stuff. And the last comic is in the stocking. The stocking's always the best. And I'm right. Luke Cage, Hero for Hire, issue number seven. My man, Luke. And this is a really good story. This is, uh, Luke is spending some time at the clinic. Oh, again, first I should say that this is, uh, the story is called Jingle Bombs. It's from 1973. George Huska art and, uh, Billy Graham cover. And what's happening here is Luke is spending some time at, at the clinic with his friends Noah and Claire. Luke witnesses some child getting beat by this guy dressed up in kind of like a, a Charles Dickens character looking thing. And Luke goes over and, you know, says something. And, you know, the, the, finds out that this guy's name is actually Marley. And I'm assuming that it's, in, you know, Jacob Marley from, you know, uh, Christmas Carol. And he really only did this to find out if there's any good Samaritans left in the world. You know, kind of, Luke makes him. Okay, there's good people. But he sees that the outside world, there's not. There's just not enough. One good deed is not enough for this guy, Marley. And so he plans on dropping a nuclear bomb on New York City. Luke is kind of chained, uh, tied up, and um, Marley's just about to do it until he hears something coming, something or someone, dun dun dun, coming down the chimney. It, that moment, uh, Luke takes that opportunity and, uh, you know, takes care of Marley. Kind of saves the Christmas day. And um, who comes down the chimney but a, another thief? And Luke, rather than kick his ass, he kind of talks to him and has this moment with him. And him and the criminal, the thief, ends up having this this moment where they kind of just pause and, and take in Christmas and as the sun comes up. It's a really cool story. I really love this one. Anyway, that's my response to DaCosta's holiday tag video and I'm going to go ahead and tag two people as well I'm going to tag hero hunter 81 and a new youtuber relatively new he's about to well, he just went over 100 subs is Lee Kirby Deco comics and I'm going to put a link to the description down and below and anyway yeah this was fun everybody have a really good Christmas and uh, 
I will hopefully see you before the new year. Gene Paul Peter, signing out.